What's up, YouTube? It's Kenny again. Sitting at a park this morning. I'm getting ready to do my grocery shopping and head back out on the road. Got the van out of the mechanic. Uh, it took them longer than expected. Everything didn't go as planned exactly, but it's done. <clears throat> I got everything done that I wanted done, plus more. Uh, the only thing that they weren't able to figure out well, they kind of figured it out, but we didn't fix it, was the reason that the back vents are not blowing hot with the heater. It's not super important. <clears throat> the heater in the front will cook you out of this motherfucker. So, uh, it's, I can live without that. But guys, we got a lot of stuff done to the van, all right? Grand total was $3,966.70. A lot of work was done. Uh, if you're just finding the channel, hit that subscribe button because this was the last step, this mechanic trip, before I start building. And I've got about $5,000 worth of stuff that I spent this week un opening, unboxing, checking out. Uh, testing and stuff. I didn't get to test everything, obviously, uh, but I tested a lot of the stuff out. The EcoFlow Wave 2, my uh, EcoFlow River 2 Pro, uh, yeah, the refrigerator. Uh, so, yeah, it's coming, all right? I'm about to go back out on the road today, and I'll be back in a couple of months, and when I get back, I'm going to start installing the battery and all of that stuff in the van. Uh, so what all did we get done? I'm going to read it off the list here. So we got um, heater hoses, fuel filter, water pump, fan clutch, radiator hoses, cooling hoses, heater hoses, radiator hose, thermostat, alternator, water outlet, oil filter, oil AC compressor replacement service kit, AC compressor with clutch, antifreeze, engine oil, gear oil, ATF, Freon, transmission filter, oil pan gasket, transmission output shaft seal, fuel pump assembly, uh, battery bolt, battery cable, battery hold down. Uh, we got the thermostat replaced. So the thermostat, I was correct what I thought uh, that they had put a cooler thermostat in this. We went back to the OEM thermostat and the temperature now reads uh, what it should read rather than cooler. Uh, it, you would think that it's better for it to run cooler, but the manufacturers designed these to expand with to a certain heat, to a certain threshold, and they run more efficiently when they run at that correct temperature. So we put the OEM's uh, thermostat in it, did a water pump, the uh, thermostat housing, radiator hoses, Bunch of different heater hoses and connectors was all were all redone. Uh, they did the AC compressor, AC dryer, the full kit with the O-rings and everything, lifetime warranty. Uh, we did uh, transmission, uh, filter, flush, fluid. Uh, they said the transmission looked fantastic when they opened it up. No real metal shavings other than what would be normal. The fluid looked great. Uh, they replaced the oil pan gasket, some seals and stuff associated with that because there were a couple really minuscule leaks that they wanted to deal with. Uh, we upgraded the alternator to a 220 amp alternator. Originally, I was wanting to go with like the 145, but they couldn't find that. They could find the 130, but they also found this 220 and it was expensive. And it's made by uh, some power power master company or something and it came with this nice testing tag and all this uh, but so 220 amp alternator and because of that we had to upgrade to bigger battery cables so uh, they did they dropped the fuel tank and put a new fuel pump in it replaced some stuff during that process new fuel filter uh, they uh, drained and refilled the rear differential so differential service, uh, like say transmission service, oil change, uh, some different seals and stuff. Uh, obviously they, they uh, 
uh, service the AC as well. Uh, yeah, so guys, it, it, this was a ton of work for the price, all right? Some places charge an old lady three grand just to change the water pump, all right? And I got all this stuff done for four grand. Uh, they did screw up. They, uh, you know, it wasn't a perfect, I'll just say it wasn't perfect, all right? They did a good job, it appears. I haven't had the van back very long, but I've put quite a few miles on it. It runs fantastic. They neglected to hook the, uh, to fully hook up the tube where you fill the fuel from. So when I went to fill it up with fuel, as it, when it got full, it started dumping some fuel out of it. But being, you know, mechanically inclined, I just hopped up under there, popped it in there and tightened it up and it was fine. It's just something that they overlooked. They did a ton of work. So there was, it was easy to overlook something. And if that's the worst of it, I'm super happy. Uh, other than that, it seems like the noise that was occurring is gone. It hasn't done that since I've been back in it. So, yeah, guys, I'm happy with the work. I feel like uh, the van is super mechanically sound at this point. Something they discovered while they were there is that this van has rear airbags, meaning that there's a little air nozzle in the back that I can hook a pump to and it'll jack the back end of it up even more to give me more clearance. And they te they said they looked like they're in real good shape and they tested it and it held out, held air for three or four hours. And uh, so that's pretty cool. I slept in the van last night. It's, it's not actually the first time, uh, but it's the first time like doing any kind of real uh, besides just laying on the bed and sleeping. I, uh, I got an electric blanket I did sleep back there last night. I got an electric blanket. Uh, after doing some research, I decided to go with just one that plugs into 110 AC instead of a 12 volt electric blanket. I have a 12 volt electric blanket, but that's for the battery box. Uh, so I, I got the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. I used that with the electric blanket last night. Well, this morning, actually. And we're at 85%. It was about 90%. It was about 90% last night. Uh, it got down into the 30s last night. It was about 37, 38. So not super cold, but I slept all night just with nothing but one quilt. And I was fairly comfortable. I mean, I woke up a couple times kind of chilly, but uh, it was fine. And that's before I put any window coverings on or anything like that. Woke up this morning, plugged the electric blanket in for about an hour on high. And man, that thing will toast you up. Uh, I started the van, turned the heat on, turned the electric blanket on and got warmed up real good in, you know, 20 minutes or so. And I just sat there for about 45 minutes or an hour. Uh, worked out real well all right uh, remains to be seen how much that eco flow wave 2 is going to do uh, on eco mode it appears from my testing that it'll run about five hours on heat so we're not going to run the heat all night not planning to never was planning to uh, but we'll see how much it actually heats it up in an hour like in a morning or something uh, the air conditioner will run for eight hours on eco mode and it, it blows pretty decent. It's, it's, uh, we'll, we'll just have to see, you know, with testing. I, I spent a lot of money on it, so I hope it does what I think it's going to do. Uh, tested the refrigerator. It seemed to use a lot of power, but it was empty. They use less power when you got stuff in them that's holding the cold in there and it's not just heating vacant space. I mean, a uh, cooling vacant space, but worked well. Yeah, I'm excited about it, guys. Uh, I had a good, comfortable night's sleep. Uh, you know, a little rough waking up in the cold, but that's just what it is. Uh, when I have when I have that wave two, and I can just pop electric blanket on and turn that on without getting out of bed, should work great. This morning I had to get up and come up here and turn the truck on and turn the van on and 
uh, I hadn't fully hooked up the electric blanket or even gotten under it, so I had to set that up in the cold, but I'm happy with it. Van seems to be running really well. That thermostat should do some things for me, all right? Uh, and I, I, it seems like a minor thing, but like I said, the manufacturer, see, when metal heats up, it expands. And the manufacturer designs those tolerances so that when it expands to a certain point, at a certain temperature, everything's nice and tight and functioning better. So when you put a lower thermostat in it, it's really, it's counterintuitive because you think if it runs cooler, it'll last longer. And that may be true to, to a certain extent, but you lose some things. Uh, typically, you lose a little bit of fuel mileage and you gain a little bit of horsepower. Uh, so I'm hoping I'm gaining a little bit of fuel mileage as well. It remains to be seen yet, but it looks like it as to where the gauge is sitting right now and stuff. Uh, guys, I'm looking forward to starting the build. Uh, the idea was to put a bunch of that stuff in here so I could see how it was going to fit, but because it took them so long to do the work, uh, that didn't happen. Essentially, what happened was I had wanted them to order parts, so they had parts when I got there and they could start. And the guy wouldn't take money from me to order parts, before I got in so I had to, they had to wait on parts and I understand to a certain extent because they want to actually physically make sure they're ordering the right parts you know they don't trust the customer to know uh, and I don't blame them for that you know to give them the right information of what to order uh, and then also you know there's a certain thing it's like maybe he doesn't show up and we've ordered all these parts but I was going to give them money so uh, I gave them $2,000 up front when I got there. They ordered the parts. The parts didn't come in. I dropped it off on Monday. Parts didn't come in until like Wednesday afternoon. So, you know, uh, yeah, I didn't get it back until midnight Saturday night. Uh, so, and today is Monday. And I had stuff to do all day Sunday. So they stayed late Friday and Saturday to get it done. So I'm happy overall with the experience. And I will take I will take something back there. Uh, I didn't have a bad experience. Like I wouldn't go there again. I like the guys. Uh, they they seem to do a good job. Just based on what I know about cars and what I've looked and seen so far. Uh, but we'll see over time how it lasts. Uh, they did mess up and not hook that fuel uh, tube up, but. Guys, stuff gets overlooked when they're rushing and staying late and trying to get it done for me. You know, something's bound to get overlooked. Uh, first full real night of sleeping in the van while watching TV and having an electric blanket and all that stuff. And it went well. Slept in the La Quinta Inn parking lot. <coughs> There's a La Quinta over there kind of by my job where I know it's safe to park. Yeah, I got to get it together, go do some grocery shopping, load up in the truck so I can head out and pick up a load here in Arlington, Texas, and I'll be headed to Ohio and we'll get it rolling again. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave me a comment below, and I'll see you on the next one.